question. The question was, um, fuck.
know, they'll have no problem being generous, but they they not gonna deal with your bullshit. Okay? So <clears throat> But these are not just things that we work with. These are actually and I'm going to smoke. These are actually nature freaking spirits, right? So they can only perform within their own lane. So when you are trying to manipulate elements in a certain way, right? What you need to do is think about how you're going to execute that thing. What are the tools that you would need to manipulate that thing? And these are the things that are going to go into your uh, ritual, right? <clears throat> so... Let's make it, let's break it down a little further. Let's say you, you and your significant other being um, at odds, right? Well, you want to restore some balance back into the house. Now, a lot of people go to is the candle. Okay, but you have to think about things. Candle work is firework. If you're already in a volatile situation, there's enough heat on the situation. You want to incorporate some water. Okay? Um, so that would be your target focus. That is how you would carry out your working. You would carry out your working um, with water. It would be the uh, Whether that was like creating a floor wash, creating a spiritual bed, creating a water ritual, creating a fountain for this specific purpose. For instance, I'm going to enchant the water inside this fountain. Okay. And it just flows love vibrations. You know. And you will go into your ritual of enchanting the water. Alright. Because you know that's how you it's cooling water. It's running water, which is going to bring the nymph spirits right over there. Now, mermaids or whatever. Once you get in contact with these elemental spirits, they will start to speak to you. A lot of people don't realize when they say, oh, spirit was speaking, that they were speaking to the spirits of nature. Because a lot of people don't really recognize the spirits of nature. And I think the spirits of nature probably prefer it that way because <laughs> humans are alive, okay? But spirits of nature will help guide you into where you need to be. As you commune more with these spirits of nature, you can start to interact with the entities that are associated with those spirits of nature, okay? So, elements are important because they're kind of like the gateway into your operation, your magical work, your spell work, your ritual, okay? Now, nature spirits of earth, which is found in the west. by the gnomes and goblins, okay? These will be spirits that are over all your little rocks and crystals and shit like that because they live in the center of the earth. And don't get it twisted, they can get hot too, but mostly they're cold spirits. Some, like I said, some of them are hot, they all the way in the center of the earth now. Those are the four elements of the spirit or the I say the power that you 
put into the magic that's inside of you. <clears throat> that is when, you know, you want to be able to speak things into existence and stuff like that. Okay? So you want to enchant your water or work your candle or whatever it is, the working is that you are doing to bring that thing to you. We're not going to get into all of that because we're just going to talk about the elements. Elements are very important, okay? They help you make sense of things. You see how nature works. You see how spirit works. <laughs> you know these things and you craft a spell that is going to produce the energy that you want. It just be too hot. I'm not in no pain right now. Over the weekend, I was walking, baby. Everything would hurt. But it's hot. I was hot when I came outside. But I'm over here in this track. And the wind didn't blow. But my house, it was hot. Anyway. So. Um. That's why elements are very important. Um, for those of you just starting out with magic, I would suggest, you know, getting to know the elements. How do you do that? By taking your ass outside, which you should be doing anyway. Hmm? So, you're going to take yourself outside because you're going to need to ground. Okay? So, why are you grounding? You are grounding because you want to make sure that you stay tied to the earth, okay? When you get to going into your subconscious mind and experiencing the places that your spirit knows, it is not a very difficult thing to lose touch with reality. It is a lot of people that you lose touch with reality <clears throat> because they're not grounding before they start practicing their craft. So you're going to ground. This is going to push you in touch with the earth and also the known spirits. Once you start going outside the ground, okay, um, it's not going to be very difficult for you to have a seat on the ground and things of that nature because you will become more familiar with the earth spirits and it will just be more easier for you to interact with earth. Like, we are conditioned to not touch anything in nature, but we can exploit it. It's weird, but it's the society and the world that we live in. But getting in touch with those spirits will help you be able to ground a lot faster. You get to know them. You see a known there is a spirit inside of said gnome. Said gnome starts to speak to you. It was really strange for me the first time I walked past somebody's front porch and they had gnomes out there and they was talking to me. It was kind of strange. Okay? You'd be like... So that's a decoration. Why is it talking to me? Have I lost my mind? <laughs> so something as simple as grounding will get you in touch 
with nature spirits. You'll actually start to notice more things in nature. You'll notice that the more you work with it. So then, the underlings I told y'all, them was mermaids, shit like that, the sis. Sis kind of, now, okay. Sis have wings, and they are often depleted to look something similar to like a, a, a what do you call it? A goblin. But see, goblins don't have wings. Goblins are actually gnomes, so they live in the earth. Sylphs, they kind of have wings. They don't fly for a long time, okay? But um, oftentimes, you will find sylphs depicted in scary movies. They are often, you know, viewed as the money. Now, honestly, most of these creatures of the faith, are often being as the money and it's because they are otherworldly not because they are the money um gnomes tend to be tricks and spirits and because gnomes um ain't exactly friendly and don't particularly have an aesthetic that we as humans can really appreciate and see is beautiful um they too will often look at as the money and don't get me wrong you got some mean evil shit in pretty much every form of existence there is however these spirits are not the money spirits these are nature Period. Period. Nature spirits. And what are you doing when you the actual action of magic is you manipulating the elements to create a spirit or an energy to manifest a particular thing that you want. Okay. Inside of doing this ritual, what you're also doing is training your mind to elevate to that frequency or vibration of that day that you're trying to be. So, of course, with every retraining of the mind, there is also a interact with you you will see the water spirits in the water you will see the earth spirits about you will see the fire spirits you'll see the fire spirits <clears throat> um the air spirits you might not necessarily see you know but you will know them when they arrive you know You'll know the energy because they are air like you can't really see air you can see the effects of air but you don't really see air sometimes you know in certain situations you will be able to see them <clears throat> okay hopefully y'all don't never be in none of them type of situations no time soon but uh that's pretty much all i wanted to say this morning about elements and the spirits of nature same thing okay elements and the spirits of nature are the same thing okay 
each element can only work within its parameters. Like, water can't go over here and act like fire. Fire can't act like water. Water can't act like air. Like, no. No, they can only stay within their practice. So, well, within their elements, okay? And when you learn to pull different elements together and put them together to create a thing, you are at that point practicing alchemy. So, the more you create your rituals or your magic, the more you tap into the magic inside of you, the more of an alchemist you will become. You know? <laughs> so, go out there, get creative, and get y'all some nature spirits. Okay? Y'all stay dark and lovely. I spread your love and light, and I'll see y'all next video.